welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, I'm Cora. Make sure you check out the description box below for links to all of my social accounts as well as my website, CoraShay.com. And let's jump into the video because today I'm going to be talking about nine different time management systems you can start doing to help you get it all done. Hi everyone. Live your best possible life. All right guys. Time management is super important. I could talk about that for forever. I have an entire post on the different reasons that you need to learn better time management and all the ways that it can help improve your life. I have that post linked below. Definitely go check that out if you aren't feeling 100% certain as to why learning one of these time management systems is so important. If you do have a good grasp on that, then keep watching. Because the first time management system we are going to be talking about is my personal favorite and that is time logging. Time logging is simple, it's efficient, and it is a great way to get an idea of where your time is going in the day. Because a lot of us find ourselves in a situation where the day wraps up at 10, 11 o'clock at night, and you're like, where did the time go? Why didn't I get more done today? What could I have done differently to help me get more done? And that is where time logging will really help you out. And it's simple, let me grab a notebook. So all you do is grab a notebook. This is my personal favorite from Eric Condren. I love this notebook. And you go through and you start at the beginning of your day. Let's say you get up at 7 a.m. You would start with 7 a.m. And you go all the way down until whenever you normally go to bed, you know, 10, 11 p.m. And you can either do it on the hour or the half hour. Totally up to you and your life and your preferences. I generally just do it on the hour because I find it to work the easiest for me. Um, but what you do is just jot down what you did from that hour to the next hour. So from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., just a general abbreviation based, you know, just really quick, got ready for the day. This is of course a little more for you once you get into like your working hours. And from say 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., answered emails. 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., filmed a video. 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., sat on social media. Be honest, because in order for the time lock to work, you're going to need to be honest with yourself. And then when you look back at the end of the day, you can kind of see where your time went in the day. And it's not that it's always time wasting things like social media or TV. It could be that there are tasks that you're spending a lot of time on that you could be delegating out, you could be automating, or just generally tasks you don't need to be doing. And that way you can get an idea, okay, if I regained those say two hours in the day, I could get a lot more done than I'm trying to get done. Time logging is a fantastic way to figure out where your time is going in the day so you can then reevaluate and figure out what tasks don't need to be getting done so you can get more important things done every day. System two is pretty self-explanatory and it's called 50 on, 10 off. Set two timers in your phone and you're just going to alternate them. One is for 50 minutes, one is for 10 minutes. The 50 minute one, during that time frame, put your phone away or any other distractions that tend to make you not get work done and focus. Get 50 minutes of just straight through work done. And then when you're done with those 50 minutes and the timer goes off, you have 10 minutes where you can do whatever you want. That could be, of course, you know, going on social media, watching a bit of a show, uh, going for a walk, getting a snack, whatever it may be. You know that if you focus for those 50 minutes, you get an entire 10 minute break every 50 minutes. And for a lot of us, we take and waste a lot more time during the day than 10 minutes every hour. So by giving yourself those mini breaks throughout the entire day, it kind of resets the clock every single hour. And ultimately it can help you get a lot more work done during your day by taking just little strategic breaks throughout the day, rather than just taking an hour break in the middle of the day. And you know, it's hard when you do that because the last like hour before you break, you're like, oh, I'm ready for my break. And then you know, it takes 30 minutes to get back in the group afterwards. This could be a great system for you if that's how you feel and you relate to that idea that you lose a lot of time surrounding your break and that little breaks during the day could be a lot more helpful for you. System three is time blocks. Time blocking means grouping together different ideas throughout the day. So setting time in your day to do emails, but like an assigned just block of time where that is the only thing you do. You don't look at any of your other work. You don't do things, you know, you're not multitasking, you're not jumping between tasks. You're not going and trying to work on multiple steps of a project. You are just blocking the time for that. This works great for a lot of different industries. It's probably one of the most universally 
loved time management systems and it's definitely one that can work no matter what your career is or if you're a student rather than working in or whatever it may be it's definitely a very universal one but there may be other ones that work more better for your specifics so definitely keep watching if you're like yeah that seems really simple but i think i need more than that system four is one three five rule also known by a lot of people as the pyramid time management system uh, I pyramid could probably is probably a better explanation because you don't just need to do one three five. You could do um, two four six or even like a bigger like a one five seven. And it's that you the one the top of the pyramid is the biggest tasks and then it's medium sized tasks and then it's smaller tasks. And what you do is you get the biggest tasks done first and then you get the medium tasks done and then you get the smallest tasks done. And the idea of it is that if you did if you pull a brick out you know a task out from the bottom then the whole pyramid would collapse so get the most important task done and then the next and then the next i like to do multiple pyramids throughout the day when i do this rather than doing one throughout the day because that way you can do subtasks within the larger task as well let's say you film a video and you know if you're doing content creation you do and that's your number one task and then the medium tasks are related to uploading it and editing it and then the small tasks are promoting it whatever it may be like that and that's probably not the only thing you did for that day but that pyramid just helps you break down that task for the day system five is motivation based this is a wonderful system if you are very interested in what you're doing you know, if you're in college and you are super passionate about what you're studying, this can be a great system for you or if you're really interested in your work. I will say that I tried to use this system in the past when I was in a job that I was not nearly as passionate and interested in and it didn't work out great for me because I didn't really feel really motivated to complete any of the tasks. But if you do feel that motivation there, then this can be a fantastic time management system for you. And what you do is just make your daily to-do list don't worry about prioritizing it or anything and just look at your list and pick a task. Pick a task that is you're feeling motivated and passionate to complete. And then when you complete it, you cross it off your list and you go back to the list and you look, okay, what task is kind of calling to you to do next? And you just need to have faith in yourself if you choose this system that you are going to complete the most vital tasks in addition to the ones you're the most motivated to do. And in general, if you're feeling like a motivation-based system works for you, you're probably going to be motivated enough to complete majority of your tasks every day. And it helps you not stick to maybe as rigorous of a time management system if you feel that you don't like being stuck within those constraints. Six is a super basic one, but it can work for basically anyone. And it's, it's one of my personal favorites. If you've watched me before, you've probably heard me talk about this one as well. And it is a start to finish priorities. And it's very simple. You make your daily to-do list and you include everything. You include things that you know you absolutely need to get done, but then you also include things that like, oh, that'd be cool if I had extra time to get that done, all of it. And then you go through and you prioritize it. You start at number one and then you go down the list and you, you know jump around a little and pick out number two and three and four and so on. And then once you have the entire list number, you go back and you force yourself to stick to completing the first most important task and then the second most important task and then the third most important task, so on and so forth. It's simple, it's an easy time management system to follow, but for a lot of us, it is the most black and white because it keeps you on task the entire day. A lot of these other systems aren't necessarily systems you would use the entire day, but a start to finish priorities you would. System seven is eat the frog. The expression comes from the Mark Twain quote about eating the frog right away in the morning. I don't, I think I'll put on the screen the exact quote. And the idea is just getting the tasks that you dread the most done and over with. I like to do this when I know that I have a task in the day that I really am dreading. Um, it's not a time management system I do every day, but if you have something that you have to do every day that you hate, then I definitely recommend implementing this system, like for sure. An example of this is if you hate responding to emails, do it right away, get it done for the day, and then you don't have to worry about it the rest of the day. And it also can be really good for helping like morale and your mood throughout the day that you just got that ugh, dreaded task done and out of the way. 
System eight is task batching. It is similar to time blocking, but it is going to be on a larger scale. Uh, I recommend doing this, especially if you are in a creative field. And let's use content creation again for the example. I'm sorry, it's what is the most fresh in my mind, obviously. And let's say you do task batching in for different social platforms. So you could do on Mondays, task batching the entire week worth of tasks for your Instagram content. That includes then taking the pictures, editing the pictures, uploading them to Instagram, saving them to your drafts, um, doing the caption as well as hashtag research. You do all of that for your entire week or two weeks of Instagram content on Monday. And then Tuesday, you jump and you do Pinterest and then Wednesday, Facebook, Thursday, YouTube, etc. And when you batch create content like that, or you just do batch work in general, you know, this works for lots of other creative fields as well. A big thing that you're helping is you're helping yourself prepare for fires down the road so that maybe if you tend to get or if you get a you know a big issue like your entire website goes down on Wednesday even if Wednesday is normally your Pinterest day you already have a lot of Pinterest content batch created from the week before so you don't have to stress about it as much it really helps make days where there's a fire less of a hold up on your work nine and the final time management system i want to talk about today is the assembly line and that is one that works the best if you are in a project-based career you know engineering marketing i'm sure there are so many more and i cannot think of another one um, but when you're in a job where you have projects doing assembly line tasks can be very helpful so let's say you're in marketing and you start from start to finish, you're gonna complete an assembly line of the tasks necessary for that day for a project you're working on. You know, review what needs to be done, and then you go through and you respond to just emails for that project. And then you do reports or research or whatever is needed next. And you just do task by task by task by task right down the assembly line for that project, rather than jumping between things or doing multiple different email responses for multiple projects you're just going down the line and you're completing an assembly line of tasks for that project. And then once you've completed what you need for that project for the day, you tuck it away and you start the assembly line and do the same steps for the next project. There is so much more I could talk about with every single one of those time management systems. If you need more information on them, definitely check out the correlated blog post, which goes a little bit more into depth on these, uh, it points out kind of different things as well for each of these systems. But if there is a time management system that you guys are like, oh my gosh, I really want to know more about that, or how could you give us examples of how you use it throughout the day, uh, let me know and I can absolutely make a video on something like that. Um, I could do more specifically about just one. I could walk you through a day in my life of using one of them. Whatever. Let me know what would be the most helpful for you guys. I hope that you are having a great day. I hope that this video was helpful. Um, if it was, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of the community. And that's it. Bye, guys.